All right. So anyway, on this episode of the Ritual Misery podcast, we're going to find out that Windows does indeed suck. Uh, makes a good vacuum. What is a global event? Probably somewhere on the globe. We're also going to talk about movies and get people to call in and see whatever the hell else will happen. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 175, Thursday the 24th of May, 2018. This is a show where two lifelong friends celebrate all things geek. Uh, shout out to David, it's his 13th birthday today. Happy birthday, David. Right, because he, he doesn't listen to our show. <laughs> but whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to get straight into it, alright? Uh, Windows sucks. They pushed out this April update. I, I don't know how I got it, but I finally got it towards the end of May. Um, screw you hippies, because you fucked all my audio up. All of it. Yeah, um, that's causing us to start about 30 minutes late, but that's uh, that's only about 15 minutes later than normal. Right, exactly. So we're still good to go. Hey man, um, how was your week, dude? <sighs> Thankfully, it was cut short because it's a four-day weekend this weekend. I've got Friday off as well as mm-hmm. Memorial Day. Uh, so it's kind of nice. I don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah, that's uh, – yes. I started this week out uh, doing – pulling like a 10-hour shift on a couple days with no lunch, that kind of stuff. And today I basically sat around bored as hell because I'd already done all the shit I needed to do this week and there was nothing left to do. Well, see, my my work is a little stupid. They backload the schedule, mm. so meaning that like on Fridays or uh, the last day of a week, going into a four day weekend, they want things to go until like six thirty p.m. when typically we close the building at five. Mm-mm. Now, so. uh, luckily, I kind of work for myself, but that also means I had to deal with my own problems this week, so that was kind of shitty. But um, it's whatever it. It, it 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 worked and uh, I I got work done and the paychecks coming eventually so I guess I'll just be happy with that. I'm glad this week is over. I'm super super glad this week is over. <laughs> I was really happy this ritual misery night until until it was ritual misery time. <laughs> like, what the hell? As man? are most of our audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it's very true. Hey, um, this week and I was planning on spending some time playing Division because of the global event that I need. Which is like the, mm-hmm. the they change the whole game and they make it better for certain certain toolkits you know whatever that you're gonna get in game to happen and they like your bullets have different effects and all this other kind of weird shit is going on this weekend but I think I'm just gonna sit around and uh, try to fix Windows. Uh yeah well good luck with that yeah man did you have you uh, did you get a chance to see any movies I did lately? not dude I'm so like uh, oh, all, man. all weekend I was there thinking I, I should go see a movie just get out of here and go see a movie and I didn't um, uh, but you did yeah dude uh, I, I saw Deadpool 2 yeah and uh, man that movie's a lot of fun dude yeah it's a blast uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything I still I still hold the first one closer to my heart like mm. it's it, to me, it does not topple the first one, uh, but it's still really, really good. If you like the first one, you absolutely have to go see the second one. Nice. Um, is, is it going to be good for people like me that watch Deadpool because Ryan Reynolds and sarcastic uh, cartoon or sarcastic comic character that's that's uh, what, what is it called when they know that they're a comic character? What is that called? I can't remember. Oh, uh, self aware, breaking the fourth. There you go. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, um, yeah, it's very much all those things. Okay. It's everything you liked about Deadpool, it's in this as well. There we go. That, that's awesome. Even uh, ball sack jokes? Uh, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, spoiler, yes. Um, hey, there's, uh, there's, there's another movie coming out this weekend, though. Solo, a uh, Star Wars story. Is it Solo, a Star Wars story? Is it just Solo... It, uh, it is uh, not it's, the cup. I mean, what, what what's the tagline on this one? <laughs> solo, fill up your cup. Oh, uh, uh, solo. Our cups are red. Um, oh, yeah. Well, wait. Solo because you can't get a date. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So, so, so low because you're, you're not high. Of, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say so low because you ran out of coke. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so low. Star Wars story. It's actually out now, which still yeah. perplexes me. That right. That a a May 25th release date actually means sometime in the afternoon on the 24th. Right. Uh, <laughs> I've already talked to somebody that's seen it. They gave it a thumbs up. Uh, which I won't allow anyone to tell me anything beyond thumbs up or thumbs down until I actually see it myself. But I'm going to go tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, thank God I have the day off. I'm going to go tomorrow. And uh, I can't wait, dude. As excited as I was about Deadpool 2, I'm way more excited about this. Of course, it's Star Wars. Uh, I'm prepared for haters. Haters going to hate because it doesn't matter how good this movie is. People are going to bitch about it. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, st- Keep to the Star Wars theme, kind of. Okay. Who plays Lando Calrissian in the st- solo movie? Donald Glover. Okay. Yeah. And who does Donald Glover play when he's rapping? He plays. Uh, uh, of course, you would ask me that. Uh, Ga- uh, Gambino. Uh, Child- Child- uh, Childish-, Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. <laughs> um, and Childish, I had a moment for there yeah. just for a second. Childish Gambino has has a new song out. I guess it's not really new. It's a couple weeks old, but uh, we're lame uh, middle aged white guys, and it takes us a while to catch on to the the cool shit. So, <laughs> uh, have you seen the This Is America video? I have. I've, and I've seen it. did you see it before you heard about it, or did you hear about it and then see it? What? Uh, I'll give you context. I heard about the video and somebody's like, yeah, it was like this, 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 this big statement and you're kind of distracted by the dancing and stuff. And there's all this random shit going on in the background. And then I went and watched it like five times. And so uh, did you, did you watch it before you had heard about the, like the, the I synopsis? see. Okay. So I, I understand the framing of the question. Uh, I knew of its existence. It was on all of my feeds saying, Hey, new childish Gambino video. And I was like, oh, awesome. I'll get to that later. <laughs> and, then, and then I heard someone talk about it. And I did, in fact, hear all of those things before I watched it for myself. Uh, so, yes, I'm in the same boat as you. So this is how far out of it I am. Yeah, don't catch me slipping up. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is how far out of it I am. My introduction to Donald Glover, because I'm not, I don't, I don't watch Community. Is it Community or Parks and Rec? Uh, oh, he's one of those. He, it, well, Community was his old show. Um, right. Lana, I think, is the current sure. one. Sure. Um, I, 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 don't, I, haven't, I haven't watched it. My introduction to Don Glover was when he did the Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live skit about the, the Black Jedi Caucus or the Black whatever caucus for Star Wars. And it was, oh. just, it was just him and like two other people. Uh, oh, wow. So that was my introduction to him. And then like the next day... I heard about this video from some of the guys at work and I was like, what? So I went and watched it. Oh my God. Um, so that, that's where I'm coming from. And holy shit. Now it's, so I listened to a stand up back then. I wasn't overly impressed. It was funny, but it wasn't like, it, 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 it was like, a. I would rate it, uh, a 60% Carlin. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, because Car- Car- Carlin being like your 100. On right. The, exactly. On the scale. George yeah. Carlin is the 100. So, uh, favorite comedian of all time. Uh, like for for example, Richard Pryor is like a 0.98 Carlin. That's that's where Richard Pryor is because he's yeah. That's 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 my scale. Okay. Um, Jim Gaffigan is coming here soon, and uh, he's probably at like a 0.3 Carlin, which probably I shouldn't say that live because I was trying to get a press pass to. To go anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the self destructive nature of podcasting. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> got it. Uh, Donald Glover, like, dude, you're you're late, like, way late to the Donald Glover game. Like, oh yeah, Donald Glover is a treasure. <laughs> oh yeah, I love clearly. Him. I mean, he 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 writes, produces, um, uh, raps, uh, stands up, and uh, acts. acts. Yeah, Rex, don't forget, don't forget the acting. Every- Anyway, that video, dude, that video blew my mind. My wife had not seen it until two nights ago when I showed her. And then she had to watch it like three times to catch the whole thing. Um, a genuine work of art, dude. Fucking love it. I love that video. Oh, yeah. It's it, it immediately shot to like top 10 of all-time favorite videos. Yeah, uh, dude. Yeah, it's so good. And 
yes, there is. There's very heavily a political message. Yeah. Uh, but even if you just if it, if it's not speaking to you that way, um, it's just a, a a such an artistically beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful to look at the the production quality of this thing and the the uh, the choreography, not just like the dancers dancing, not just that choreography. No, yes, no, that choreography. The, the whole stage but, presence, though, the whole exactly yeah, the whole production value. Cho choreographing the the foreground, the background, everything in between. Yeah, just to be in sync the way it was is just it's a it's a feat. Yeah, and, and here, here's here's what got me. Okay, so I watched it and I watched some reviews of it. Um, I watched it, and made my own opinion of it. Uh, going into it knowing that there's more going on in the background. So I watched it just as a watcher the first time. The second time, ignore all the dancing and stuff like that and just kind of see what's going on in the background. And the third time, really try to get what the message is. Listen to the words. Listen to, even even though there's not a lot of words, the words that are in there are very meaningful. Um, and then after watching it like the fifth time, I fully understood that I, I me, I will never fully understand this video. Right. Oh God. Yes. I had that epiphany probably about on my third watching of yeah. it. Like is I, it I think I know what this is about, but I will never really know. I, I can watch the Hamilton musical fifty three times. I'm not gonna know what it was like to live in the revolutionary period. Right. And it was that yeah. same like I I'm living this right now, watching it from someone else's point of view, and I'm never gonna fully understand everything in this video because yeah. it's it, not the life I've lived. And that was, that was a huge point to me. Yeah. I, I highly recommend if you've not seen this video, take the four minutes, look it up on YouTube. It's probably still in the top trending videos. I mean, it, it I know it's been there for, for quite a while. It's probably still there. Uh, but yeah, dude, I am so looking forward to seeing Donald Glover play Lando Calrissian. And that's probably the number one thing that I'm looking forward to in seeing Solo. But what I'm not looking forward to is all the money that <laughs> Solo is going to give <laughs> to the movie party. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, we, 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 we done good, man. We're like halfway through the draft right now. We're halfway through the summer, the, the summer series or whatever. Uh, and I mean, we're, we're holding on to a very, very strong second place. Um, and let's, let's just get into the whole stats so we can make more comments about how this is just not our year. I don't think. Let me, let me click on the thing. Welcome to your BT Movie Draft Minute presented by Diamond Club TV for the week of May 21st, 2018. I'm your host, Big Voice J. Daddy needs to express some rage. Where'd I put those chimichangas? But first, the scoreboard. Team Devon Squad's in last place, waiting for their first film. Team Walking Drunk is in fifth place with $37.8 million. Team Movie Party's in fourth place, thanks to Book Club bringing their total to $107.9 million. Team Game Night's in third place, with Deadpool 2's nine-figure debut, Surprise! bringing their total to $205.3 million. Team Ritual Misery's in second place with $342.9 million. And continuing their reign above all, it's Team Have a Drink with $677.5 million. That's your Movie Draft Minute. All totals are accurate as of 6 p.m. Central, Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018. Thank you, Big Voice Jay, as always. Brilliant, beautiful, lovely man. Um, mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, dude, we're in second place still. Yeah. And we are roughly half, we have roughly half the money that first place does. Right. And I don't think we're catching up. <laughs> uh, no. Unfortunately, it seems Avengers has some legs. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna continue to have legs too. Deadpool two came in this weekend and knocked Avengers off the number one spot. Right, uh, but not by much. It still made a shitload of money this weekend. I'm more worried right now about hanging on to second place. Yeah. I think there's a couple contenders about to swing in. Game night and movie party we're, are we're only making 50, the loot. Yeah, we're only fifty million ahead of of game night and. Deadpool is going to get 50 million this this weekend, the second weekend, because it they, they, they just pulled For in sure. 150 this opening weekend. It's going to get another 50, even with 
um, solo coming out. We're not we're not sitting very good right now for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. I'm I'm thinking we might we might get like fourth. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, I, we, I think second second is probably out of the question for us. Uh, maybe I don't know, dude. We'll see. I mean, we still got we still got a couple of movies out there. We've got Hotel Transylvania three. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do and we do have Mission Impossible. Yeah. So. Uh, if, I don't know. If, if Mission Impossible can pull the 500 it's supposed to pull because it's Mission Impossible, we got a good chance. Uh, yeah, a second, <laughs> maybe. Well, uh, see, because Have a Drink doesn't really have anything left. Like, Have a Drink had a drink. Uh, uh, tr- yeah, true, true. But, dude, Infinity War is like, it's like the movie of the decade right it's, now. It's going to drop right now because you've got Deadpool 2 out there, which is the same audience. So they're not going to go see that. If 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 they're going to see if 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 a uh, uh, if a comic book fan is going to watch Infinity War, they've already done it. Now is Deadpool. True. Okay. Yeah. And, I would. And, I would. Say that. And now you have the opposite end of the spectrum. You got the sci-fi people that are going to go see Solo. So mm-hmm. I think Infinity War is is finally done. I think the legs are 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 pretty much gone. It's 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 I mean, it's, it's run. It, it's not going to make another half billion, but I see it making another hundred or so million. Mm. Like, I would say fairly easily. I would say a hundred million. Another hundred million would be stretching it. Yeah, yeah. Fifty, I, uh, fifty, sure. But another hundred, uh, I don't see. Yeah, that. we'll see. I don't know, but um, either way, that movie's super strong. Yeah, but then we got we got solo, and that's just gonna that's gonna clear us off because movie party's already got a hundred thousand hundred million dollar lead on it, so they're gonna come in, they're gonna hit that pretty hard, and that's gonna that that's gonna bump us out. Yeah, if uh, I I I I say next week we will be in fourth place. I say next <laughs> next week, week. Yeah, next week we will be in fourth place because game oh. night, game night's gonna gonna. Uh, all they have to do is get another a, a third of the opening weekend for De- uh, Deadpool, and they bump us. And then Solo, if it pulls yep. any kind of decent crowd at all, any kind of good good response to it, they're gonna bump us too. Because two hundred and fifty for a Star Wars movie isn't much for a Star Wars movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I say we we I, I'm gonna say next week we'll be in fourth. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. Luckily we got, we got like five more movies left. So, <laughs> so, so if you, if you feel sorry for us and want to cheer us up, <laughs> head over to patreoncom slash ritual misery. Uh, show us that you give a fuck, give us a buck. Uh, we would absolutely appreciate it. You could also go to Twitter. No, you can go to twitch.tv slash ritual misery. And if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, just hop on there and, and give us your, your free subscription money for Twitch Prime. Uh, that would be uh, very, very much appreciated. Yep, definitely. Um, hey, uh, real quick, uh, I do want to say that we we have a little thing going on right now. Uh, a thing? Uh-huh, uh, a thing. What thing? It's what, a what, thing. What, it's, like... It's it's called you ready for it? Okay. Skype. <gasps> Skype? Skype. You mean that thing that we can accept callers? Right. Um I know, I know. How about how about people call us on Skype and we will answer any question they have. Any any question. Any question. Any, any, any question. question about the show, any question about um, quantum physics. I, I was just going to say, what about astrophysics? Because I'm still watching Cosmos. Like, it's still playing on the laptop yeah. right there. Like, yeah. Well, uh, we, we can answer questions about geopolitics. Yeah. We can, yeah. Uh, like, we know everything. We we have all yeah. the answers. Yeah. We are ritual.misery on Skype. Lines are open. Feel free to call in. Ask us any question you would like, anything that you would like, and we will give you an answer right now. Right, meow. Meanwhile, meanwhile, while we're waiting on our first caller, God, I hope I got some calls. If no one calls, dude, that's gonna be such a disaster. <laughs> that's, well, that's why I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing. 
no, so next week's going to be interesting. You will not be on Ritual Misery. Right. I will not be here. Uh, Kent, are you doing a show next week? I intend to do a show next week, but okay. here, here's the catch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so, so you will not be on Ritual Misery next week because you will be on vacation. You will not be on Ritual Misery the following week because you are on vacation. Same vacation. Yeah. Right. So the second week of your vacation, I am also on vacation. Oh. So there will not be a show two weeks from today. Are you going to be where I'm at? Are you are you going to be vacationing at the same place that I'm vacationing? No. Oh. Not in the same place. Unless oh. you're going to be in Wisconsin. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I fly on Saturday morning a week and two days from now. Yeah. So if I do a normal show on Thursday night, mm-hmm. get up Friday morning, go to work, get home from work, I've got like a couple hours window to publish a thing. So <laughs> what I'm thinking about doing, what I'm thinking about doing is doing a pre-recording. I've got a couple of possible guests. Uh, I might do an in-studio pre-recorded show and then air it on twitch.tv slash ritual misery mm. during our normal time slot. Hmm. And I can participate in the chat and everything. But what that does is give me the opportunity to go ahead and do all of the post-production work, get everything uploaded, prepared for publishing. Mm-hmm. So I can just hit the hit the post button right there on Thursday night and not have to worry about it. Speaking, of, speaking of posting, I, I still haven't posted last week's episode. And if, if you are heartbroken about that, uh, you should have emailed this podcast at ritualmisery.com and complained. <laughs> uh, because I've just been too damn busy. So that's that's what happened there. Right. Um, okay, so definitely something next week from you and maybe something the week after from you as that, well. Possibly. Possibly. So I, the, I the maybe. Week, is is maybe yeah. is maybe more or less uh committal than possibly. Like which which one of those is higher on the commitment uh scale? I th- I think maybe is well, I don't know. It could go either way. Maybe sounds more committal to me, but it could also be d- dismissive because my mom used to tell me maybe, and it was always no. It was all yeah. It always meant no. Like like mom, uh, uh, you know Johnny's having a sleepover th- this weekend. Can I go? Uh, maybe that meant ah oh, fuck, I can't go. Yeah, was it was it Jack Johnson? Uh, why is it the maybe pretty much always means no? Uh, I think it's Jack Johnson. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. One. But here's here's the breakdown of the schedule for uh, if you if you wanna if you wanna call in, all you have to do is uh, uh, do ritual dot misery on Skype and find us. Send a little comment or a, a, a request. We will hit the accept button, and then you will uh, be uh, live on the air. Um. Yeah. So I have another announcement. Uh oh. This coming Monday. Memorial Monday, Day. Monday, Monday, Monday. Uh, twenty eighth of May. May, May. No, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> I will be I will be appearing on Cord Killers with Tom Merritt and Brian Brushwood. What? Um, yeah, so that's gonna be Monday, and then Thursday, normal time, uh, normal, uh, normal, normal channel. What is it? Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. For ritual misery, we'll be we'll be doing something. Right. Uh, stand by for what that's going to be, but we definitely will have a show in some way, shape, or form. The following week looks like there's not going to be a show at all. Maybe, probably. <laughs> uh, don't count on a show in two weeks. Probably, the- probably is definitely higher than maybe or possibly. Definitely yeah. So se- the, so the seventh of June, uh, it's likely that we won't have a show, but the following week. The fourteenth of June. Dun, dun, dun. So Tom Merritt did everything in his power to to get me on one of his shows, and as a show of gratitude, I extended him the invitation to come on to our show. Um, yeah, okay, that that's a that's a complete lie. That's not exactly how that went down, <laughs> like at all. I was gonna say, uh, I, but Tom- I remember being part of that email chain, like maybe. <laughs> Maybe I started it, but I don't. Hey, whatever, dude. You're the you're the uh, the guest relations guy, so 
<laughs> yeah, I'll just take credit. Yeah, you, you, uh, no, no, but thanks to to Amos's diligence, we will be having Tom Merritt on the show on the 14th of June. So yeah, that's here's a hint for you. Today. Anybody out there that wants to that wants to book uh, Tom Merritt for their show or anything else, plan on doing it about four months ahead of time. Yeah, I would say minimum, like Mi- four minimum. to six months. Yeah. <laughs> like you're like, you know what? In about three years, we're going to hit our hundredth episode. We should probably go ahead and schedule him in now. Oh, yeah. Like, so we had we had Scott Johnson and Tom Merritt on episode 100 of this show. And not only was it two big name guests for us, but like either one of them is is difficult to book like in any kind of uh like hey, timely uh, uh, hold on Kent uh, uh caller you're on uh, you're on turn down the radio uh you're you're uh, I think you're on the line is, am I the 20th caller uh you are the 19th caller caller uh luckily that is the caller that needed to be uh the co- um where are we in the story I, I lost myself hey big Boy <laughs> Jay, how you doing how about it? Am I uh, coming through nice and clean? No dot, too hot. You are uh, a no dot, no hot. Uh, is that what I, I think? That's that's the thing, right? That's what the kids are saying nowadays. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but, but he is definitely hot. I was earlier praising how beautiful a man, Here, big voice, Jay. Did we drop it? Oh no! What do I do? We've gone to plaid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have a question for Ritual Misery? He may not be hearing us because uh, the aforementioned audio problems. I can hear you, oh, okay. but you I thought there was some sort of delay of some sort. Uh, just your normal Skype, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, I just upda- um, not updated. I just upgraded to Windows 10, but never turned on Skype until now. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so uh, well, that's what they're doing with this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, on the line right now is Big Voice Jay, the uh, the voice behind the uh, Diamond Club B Team Movie Draft Minute, and so many other awesome things that we have used here on Ritual Misery, and uh, the voice of the of last year's um, uh, streamathon. Actually, he had all kinds of little cuts in there. Plus, he came yeah, on and absolutely. just read stuff for people uh, when they donated, which was hilarious. Oh, and I also want to point out since we're since we're singing the praises of Jay. He also does the uh, would you movie like, uh, party quantum pre-show. physics or uh, hot dog recipes? Hot dog recipes. Okay. I just found out about something called a spiral dog. Who do I need to punch to keep it, for keeping this information from me? So the spiral dog was actually a concoction back in the late 80s. Uh, McDonald's actually headed this up, and the problem with the spiral dog was that it caused it. It took too much time to do the actual spiral uh, for fast food service, so they kept it a, an industry secret for like uh, what, 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 20, 30 years now, and it's just yeah, kind of well, leaking out because of people that are like slowly leaking out uh, McDonald's secrets. Yeah, well, it took that long for the technology to it. develop to make it. It's easy always a cabal to, somewhere. Just like the people that make the hot dogs that sell them in packs of 10 and the bun people who sell them in packs of 8. It's a conspiracy. We've just cracked the code here, boys. Uh, exactly. Um, here, I'm going to change this right here. You probably might be, you might hear yourself now, but maybe now you'll be able to hear Kent. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me, Jay? I can hear you. There we go. Okay. So. Beautiful. Okay. So, so much. Yeah. You were just blown out. I think he was just like keeping you from being heard or something. I think yeah, he was. He, you know, the the man is always keeping me down. So uh, that's what happens when you control the levers of power when it comes to podcasting. Mm, now uh, apparently Windows controls the lever, levers of power <laughs> because holy shit, um, indeed. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, B- Big Boys Jay. Now we we uh, we have a question for you since you were uh, brave enough to call in and uh, and 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 ask us your question. Um, why are squirrels' nuts purple? Well, if you could access them all day, what color would you be? Valid, valid point. <laughs> I I I stand smarter than I began. That's that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> Very good. Kent, did you have a question for Big Boys Jay? 
Uh, no, I was just uh, earlier. I was w- when I was being held down by the man, apparently, and uh, my voice was not being heard. I was just expounding on on the fact that the technology for the spiral hot dog uh, was not readily available. They had to wait for a cheaper, faster version of the spiraling machine to come out before it could be made public. Okay, so I just tried this on uh, a couple days ago, and. Oh, just on an indoor grill, and I'm like, wow. The thing just splits open, and there's there's meat all over the place. It's all nice and warm and ready to accept your sauce. It's, oh, man, fantastic. So did so. my question to that, then, is did you make it into a sandwich? How dare you? If, <laughs> if you put a hot dog, so this this is a, this is cereal a soup or a casserole, right? If you put a hot dog in a bun, is it then a sandwich? Technically, get behind me, Yanny! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, this has been. I uh, managed uh, to not get into any of that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Thankfully, uh, no one who I work with really cares about that because they're all older than I am. But I'm saying, it. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you're talking about Yanni, the uh, the 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 uh, what, 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 what would you call him? The king of the pan flute. <laughs> that's that's yes, that is one of his titles. <laughs> the king of the pants flute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that apparently. <laughs> So oh. li- living in Oxford, my little black and white TV, I just had an uh, uh, antenna. So I only got like two channels and I didn't get to choose which channels they were on the particular day. I would just turn the TV on in the background while I was doing homework, or whatever else. And I remember we had like some music channel that would play and it wasn't like MTV. It was like some, it was like, oh, it was like, it was like CBS the box. four or something like that. It was something really the stupid. Box. Oh man, yeah. I remember that. And they played Yanni like all the time, all three of his songs, like all the time, and it was so irritating. Um, so that's when I became a fan of the music for Final Fantasy III because I would just turn that on and let that play in the background instead. Can I tell you that's the one thing that um, that no one ever corrected me on as a kid. Whenever you'd hear that an artist was coming to town, mm. and you know your friends expressed interest in it, and I'm like, well. Why would I go to that? They only have one song because you know they only play one song on the radio. And it's like, who's gonna do that for two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you you can't beat those guitar solos though. Like you know, two Look, hour man. long guitar solo. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a Kirk Hammett guitar solo. Oh Jesus! You get you get the right amount of barbecue in here. You you can do some bar. You can do some uh, guitar solos. Hmm. Uh, Back to the pants flute. <laughs> I just watched a video not too long ago about about someone who was uh, playing a, a, a rock band. Or was it, I don't know if it was rock band or Guitar Hero, one or the other. They were playing the the, the Dragon Force song, and they're doing it on expert mode, and they were barely missing a note, and they got you know all five stars and everything else. I was like, if you if you can play that song on expert mode and barely miss a note, you just need to play real guitar. Right. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? I would agree. Yeah. Um, I just, uh, the last video I saw without stepping off into the YouTube hole uh, was something called Scoring Family Guy, where it takes a look at, uh, oh, what's his name? I forgot his, I forget his name. The guy that's been scoring all the episodes of Family Guy, and there's still amount of work that happens to, uh, to make that happen. It's really, really good. Hmm. From uh, Sound on Sound... I think it's on their channel. If you want to get really technical uh, into music production, which, thanks to the movie draft minute, I've been kind of delving off into. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm, not, I'm not really surprised at the the amount of effort and uh, uh, everything that goes into scoring Family Guy because Seth MacFarlane is a bit of an audiophile. He is like more into music than than most people realize. Like all of the songs that they sing. Uh, like it's it's his idea to do it. You know, he, you know, he voices like ha- at least half the cast, and he sings very well in these characters' voices. You know, he sings as Stewie, he sings as Brian, he's you know all of the different things. And um, yeah, the dude, it just he loves sound. So I'm not surprised that 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 show 
produces such a high quality uh, now, score. You you know he and his sister are both crooners, right? Crooners, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. And, and one thing I learned is, um, you know, the, the you see the um, you see the intro roll out every week. That one is the same demo track that he has begged McFarland to redo now that they're, you know, now they're established, the network is giving them money. It's like, can we redo this? And it's like, nah, <laughs> let's keep it that way. Yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes you just, like, you don't change your underwear when you win a game. Like, you just want to keep it there just in case something changes. <laughs> they could be, they could yeah, be, that hasn't worked twice for the Predators, so we'll have to try something new. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <sighs> All right. Um. So, Big Voice Jay, uh, you you are you are a a neutral party on the movie draft. Uh, at least we 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 think you are. We I mean we haven't sent you our check yet. Um. Who do you have to win Keep the whole thing? That down home. I thought I told you. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you have to win the whole thing? Now that we're about halfway through it. Uh, well, my goodness. I mean, if you look at the gulf between one and two, there's got to be something really, really good to catch that up. Yeah. It's only $330 million. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what, what big <laughs> tent pole weekends is July 4th falling near or on a weekend? No, I don't think so. Is it? No, it's in the middle of the week this year. Yeah. It's in the middle of the week. And, you know, barring this weekend and maybe Labor Day, I don't think there's anything coming out Labor Day. Uh, no, How but... many big summer weekends do you have left? Yeah, that's it. It's, it's, yeah, really. I mean, solo the weekend. only the only like July 4th movie is is Ant-Man and the Wasp. And that is that belongs to Walking Drunk. So I think that's going to be their tentpole weekend. Mm. Mm. They They have like. Because they, they have Ant Man and the Wasp and the First Purge both coming out that weekend, and they got mm. uh, Uncle Drew coming out the week prior, and that's <laughs> that's their first movie. Like they they're waiting until very late in the year to get those, and, and then they got Slender Man at the end of summer, which has, yeah. has potential to be one of those breakout hits. You know, and I I think Uncle Drew might have some legs. That might be a sleeper hit, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go see that with Isaac. Uh, he and I, you know, we watched the NBA finals and, and all of that together. So he's huge into basketball and he wants to go see it. And the more I see previews for that movie, I'm like, this, this is probably going to find an audience. The, the less ridiculous it sounds, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah, but I think he's going to find an audience. Um, might be. Um, you know what? I just finished watching. I'm too. I'm starting my uh, weekend vacations. First time in a good long while I've had the entire weekend off. Mm. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, uh, but I just got finished uh, watching Deadpool, the first one. Have, have you have you heard of the, uh, oh. the, the, the trouser flute, the pants flute? Because uh, apparently that's something you can do on a four-day weekend. Is it now? <laughs> let, me, let me load up YouTube here. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, you can do that on a random Tuesday. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it James. conflicts with his normal schedule. <laughs> Jay, was this, was this the first time you've ever seen Deadpool? It is the first time I've ever seen Deadpool. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. And what were your... Okay, but before you tell us your thoughts of the movie, what is your previous exposure to Deadpool? Are you a comic book reader? Uh, maybe you've heard some reviews of the movie. Where are you at with your experience level? I have not read the comic books. I've just been loosely, uh, loosely aware of the Marvel Universe. And I like reading about all of the business ends of it. Cause I know this was part of, uh, part of their big 10 year push for all these movies to get done and all this and that to build a giant cinematic universe. So mm -hmm. I, I can see where they're trying to tie everything together. And I really appreciate everybody's attention spans being such that they can handle all of this material over so <sighs> many years. Right. And what, but, what did you think of the movie? Wow. I am. I'm sorry that I waited this long to see it. I'm. I'm almost kind of jealous of you because you just now saw it. So the the whole rush is still there because the first time I literally saw literally just minutes away from turning you guys on, I was watching Deadpool. 
<laughs> that, expl- <laughs> that explains your happy mood. You uh, you didn't have a chance for us to ruin it yet. Yeah, that's amazing. So are you going to go see Deadpool 2? Well, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason you watch the first one is like well if i'm gonna watch the second one might as well watch the first one first yeah right. you know it's like you know I, I, I i've said i need to watch this movie and then psh, nothing flew it flew right out of my mind and then it's like well crap the second one's coming out oh, or crap the second one's already come out i need to see the first one yeah. dang it i I, yeah. I i will mention that uh deadpool 2 is purchased by game night and is as of right now the second worst buy of the draft now it's only had one weekend out. It's gonna grow some legs from there, but right, they paid fifty five uh, diamond bucks for it, and it brought in one hundred fifty seven million. So they they got some interest to build on that one. So do you think the solo crowd is going to be a Deadpool crowd? There's you think there's going to be some overlap there? I yeah, I think there will be because the typical family probably only goes to the movies once a month at most. So they, I would say most crowds had to pick between Deadpool and Solo. So I think coming out one weekend apart is going to hurt both of those movies probably. Mm. But we're also getting into festival season. Con season's already been kicking up. When is, so, you know, there's going to be more traveling Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. gas prices being what they are, it's kind of taken away from whatever entertainment budget you have whilst on the road. Thanks, Obama. (laughs) <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't care. It's not old. It's not old to me. I still like that joke. I still. <laughs> yeah. My my favorite was when Obama said thanks, Obama. Yeah. Yeah. I. I so he, here's my thing. I I can't I can't say any opinions about the current administration due to legal obligations. Although I can say that <laughs> thanks, Obama is still my current favorite uh, uh presidential comment <laughs> slash joke. Oh, you can get that as a ringtone. Why not? I, I, need, I, need to, I need to get Michelle Obama saying thanks, Obama. As, oh, that as a be... ringtone. It's like a text tone. Has yeah, she ever be... said thanks, Obama? I don't, I don't know, but I bet she will. I th- well, <laughs> after I'm seeing sure that Netflix check, I'm pretty sure she will. Oh, exactly. That's that, that's exactly what I was going to go with with that. Was if they get this uh, this Netflix deal and they, they start producing and, and these movies or these uh, these these whatever they're yeah. going to do. Well, they've already inked the deal. Like it's done. That's going to be amazing. They made. The deal. So, w- yeah. So where, what do you think they're going to do with this? Because it, it could be anything from from documentaries to scripted series to uh, them performing in a show versus writing a show or just executive producing. No, no, like, no, 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 what no. what do you think they're going to use This is going to be a name only. You think they don't have 2,000 meetings already lined up? Mm. I'm sure they do. People are knocking down their door. Secret Service allowing to uh, work with them, and they, they, you know, you've you've already seen that they can attract the big name stars. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't get their person elected, but they can still attract them, and they can still get uh, get people's attention. I didn't realize so, that that Barack Obama had done a uh, uh, David Letterman interview. With his with Dave's, yeah. Dave's new show, I had, it was the it was the premiere episode of, of Dave's new but show. I haven't seen any of them yet because I'm lazy and I suck at life. So it's like it's like number Hello, one on my life list. sucker. Uh, uh, <sighs> pants pant, pant flutes. Um, I yeah, I need to catch up, catch up on that. I need I just need to catch up on every man. This vacation once this vacation's over with. I'm going to have so much time because soccer will be done. Oh, the Twins lost last weekend, so they didn't make it to state. That's actually what uh, So their season was cut short. Yeah. Or, or or it wasn't extended, I guess, depending on how you what your perspective is. But so no soccer, no big vacation, and I'm just going to have free time. Like, I don't know what the, what the hell to do with myself. I might actually be able to produce a, an episode of – or a, a, a edit an episode of – Let's talk about Thrones and get that out. Cause oh, wow, look at you. Really Being productive on your time off. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, I think CGP. Don't Ray's tell nobody. Write. They might ask you to do actual work around here. My goodness. Well, I've, already, I've already got a honey-do list. That's a mile <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I, 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 I guess, yeah, I haven't would be more, more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh man, um, hey Kent, you got a uh, got any more questions for uh, for Big Voice Jay? 
Uh, no, I don't have any questions, but I, I was trying to point out earlier that if you guys want to see more of Big Voice J every month for the movie party, not only does he participate in the movie party on Diamond Club, but he also does a pre-show that, uh, Jay, what, what's your, what is your Twitch channel? It is twitch.tv slash big voice Jay. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I was supposed to look up something else. Um, yes. Uh, Poodle Puncher has, uh, hasn't run me off yet and uh, said, Hey, uh, you know, he, he's apparently fine with me doing that. So, uh, we'll uh, get in there, talk a little bit, play some music, Twitch appropriate, of course, and uh, <laughs> spend some time together in the chat room at twitch.tv slash big voice. Yeah, you can also follow at Fun Zone Radio because I'm being roped into guest hosting three hours in the uh, a.m. Saturday mornings. For the Dirty Boxer Saturday show, this is where this is a normal British podcast. He does it in the afternoon, so it's morning for us Americans over here. So that's why we do it in the crack of dawn at 8 in the morning, because then it's 2 o'clock over there, uh, British time. The only time zone that matters, according to him. Um, <laughs> I, but we haven't locked down the schedule yet, so I will tweet it out when we do. I have to. That's agree, amazing. By the way, I happen to agree that British time is the only time that matters because we should all just all be right. going on Universal time. Yeah. No, that's that's awesome, Jam. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, that sounds rad. Sweet. Yeah, because um, I believe we were talking the other day about getting the uh, streaming hours up, and I figured you know maybe three hours a week might do that. Maybe I don't know. We're talking fits level effort here, but you know, it might be more. <laughs> yeah, Fitz, by the way, he he was he's been on the podcast. Uh he, he's we we're trying to get him back on, trying to get a, a schedule where we got something going on with him. But um he uh he he's been really streaming a lot lately. Like I'm constantly. Fitz getting is getting it, after it, man. Yeah, I like what he's doing. He's doing pretty good with it. Uh he got might, that clean shaven his... beard looking regal as all get out. <laughs> <laughs> Causing the uh, women and a few choice men to stumble. We can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, what, what, what's your Twitter for all the people out of here before uh, before we let you go? Twitter.com slash fun zone radio. There you go, people. Make sure you follow. Uh, and if you haven't seen his squirrel, let, make make sure you you uh, go on the on the Twitter and ask him to show you his squirrel. Got that squirrel. <laughs> Ace. All right. That was awesome. Um, hey, if anybody else wants to call in, we got a, we got time for one more person to call in and ask us a question before we uh, before we get out of here tonight. Um, Kent, uh, other than other than uh, uh, solo, what are you going to be doing this weekend, man? Like it's a long weekend. Like you got any plans? Um, I'm I'm going to grill. That is just pretty much guaranteed. Right. That's uh, possibly doing a pre-record of a of an rmp episode uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes we we have the uh the one the only the original the inimitable i love that word inimitable uh, uh jackie hearn on the line how are you so t- tonight jackie hey hey yeah i was about to say stop right there here, the original the only jackie hearn because the last time i was on your show um the like within two hours i had the person i referenced her name is jackie hearn who tried to friend me on facebook <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah. that's the reach that the ritual misery podcast has right yeah because that was not I, d- I don't know i i, I feel like <laughs> she's following me and I mentioned, hey, I'm going to be on the original misery or something. And then, you know, like, I, I mean, I guess she wants to talk. I don't know if she wants to do a <laughs> cease and uh, d- desist order. Right. Or wait, yeah, for stealing my- I wonder how Did many I- John Smiths <laughs> issue cease and desist orders to other John Smiths. Right. Well, OK. Yeah. So, well, well, I mean, I feel like I said too much last time, so I won't go in- get into that. But <laughs> yes. I was born in 1999. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Def- definitely and, true. For the same, the same and, age as my son. And, yeah. and my parents decided to name me 
Jackie Hearn. Yep. No, <laughs> that's just that, go with that. that. This, okay. this this all sounds one hundred percent accurate. Uh, this is uh, this this flows very nicely <laughs> with the show. Uh, hey, Jackie, did you uh, did you by chance have a question for us? Um. Any question? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, we we I have, mean, I get, we have oh, tapped oh, oh, into oh, the uh, the celestial realm. We know everything, so uh, feel free to ask any question. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. So, so just one quick question. You want me to bounce? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, no, no. I you, get you, that. you don't. You don't have to bounce. Like you can. You can hang out for a while. But we we want to start off with a question at least, if you have one. Um. Okay. Fine. What What was your first uh, PC or first computer? Okay. Okay. Uh, Kent, uh, you want to you want to start off on this one? Uh, so it was either a Packard Bell. Or a TRS-80, depending on uh, what timeline in my existence that you would go on. Amos? Um, so back in third grade, I was part of a special crew of, uh, of kids that were brought out of, uh, of South, Southern California. And we took a trip up to uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. And we were actually each given, uh, as part of our efforts, because it, it was a big project, there's... Uh, there's um, there's some some blackout periods. I don't really remember what happened, but um, we were all given a uh, personal uh, version of an early form of Watson, and we took that back. I took that back down to Palmdale, and we plugged that in, and we got to play with Watson for a while. Uh, played chess a few times, and it was great. Uh, but unfortunately, my stepdad spilled a margarita on on my my personal Watson, mm. and zapped it out. So I didn't even get to finish third grade with uh with the mini Watson. Right, and and um, if I remember right, that that was the setback that caused them to delay the the wide release of Watson until the twenty well, first century. Right, because they were all actually interconnected with each other. So when mine, right. when when mine went down for the margarita issue, uh, it, it took down like the entire uh, the, the which whole they, node system. Yeah, right. Which they I, I they still I, to I this day this refer to as the margarita people, incident. Totally. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, and well, that was part of that was part of the deal. Is actually there was some some time travel involved with it, but I w- I wasn't part of that crew. I was I, had a different, I was in the artificial one intelligence more, crew. So, do you want more questions? Yeah, yeah. By, by all means, <laughs> yeah. we are we 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 have tapped into the celestial realm. We we're pulling the answers okay, straight out what, of the ether. What was the first podcast that you listened to, and 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 on what device was in uh, you know. Uh, your PC, or did you have an iPod? Go. Um, so, all right. So my the the first device that I was able to hear someone's voice through was actually a uh, seashell, and mm-hmm. I was hearing Abraham Lincoln's voice. Um, he would tell me <laughs> bedtime <laughs> stories. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He, he, um, he would he would uh, orate some of his more famous speeches and even some of his uh, speeches that that he had written but not had a chance to to publicly share. I was I was hearing them uh, through this this uh, she, seashell device that I had. That, that sounds way better than mine. Uh, the first time I ever listened to a podcast, it was actually a pre recorded version. Uh, it was on it was on a tape. I was listening to it on my Sony Walkman. Um, yes. And it was, it was, uh, I, I want to say the year was 19, uh, 1985, I think was the year. <laughs> okay. And, no, but I mean, okay. So, all right. That's fine. That's fine. If you want to call that a podcast, that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, um, um, but that was the, 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 the title of it was, um, was the James I mean, Hetfield podcast. Can you guys, can you so. guys now give your honest answer? Ah, okay. It was okay. the first podcast that you, you might've downloaded I don't know, via iTunes uh, or like not that because I remember listening to uh, uh, Tokyo Calling, which was uh, in 19, uh, 2002 or 2004. Um, and uh, and then, of course, Dignation. Mm. Um, but so so, so the, you guys want to respond? So to real. That? Yeah. So real real answer. I think the, the first thing I don't know that I was calling it a podcast then. I think it was just like what I would call Internet radio, which is basically the same thing now. Uh, I was really into pro wrestling at the time, and I was listening to a show called Live Audio Wrestling, or The Law. And uh, I, I would say that was probably the, my first podcast. And that was like, uh, oh, geez, probably 2005, six, something mm-hmm. like that. Um, my first podcast was an actual podcast. It wasn't some random shit that somebody made up. 
uh, like him. Okay. And um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Like, I don't know why it's not working right now. It was just working a little while ago while we were playing the jazz. The, uh, the, the first podcast I ever listened to, the actual podcast, um, would be Buzz Out Loud. Um, and it would be on this very first oh. edition uh, Silverback um, iPod Touch. So that's, that would be this device, this actual device, which now, now, it's, now it's not working again. What the fuck, man? It just, <laughs> it's like, because I, it's a first-gen iPod. Seriously, I just wiggled it, and it came on, and now it's not coming on again. This is first-gen bullshit. It's right got to wiggle it better. Just wiggle just it, wiggle it just yeah. a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, that's, that's not telling her age at all. Shake that Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Shake that Laffy Taffy, yo. Laffy Taffy. And then boots with the fur. Wait, no, that's, that's uh, <laughs> shit. <clears throat> All right, Jackie, now our turn to ask you. Um, uh, oh, because I, I have more for you. Oh, well, sh by all means, okay. then. I think, okay. I think we have right. time for probably one more question. We're about to hit the hour mark of this show. So oh, go ahead, Jackie. Oh, what, what do you oh, have for oh, us? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, that's fine. Uh, no, I was going to ask, uh, what was the, like, this was a question that Brian Brushwood asked uh, like at some point recently, and I, I thought it was a good question. What was the last CD you purchased? Because his was Tenacious D, just so you know. Oh, dear God. I think Man. last CD I purchased was probably like four Metallica albums ago. Um, you're yeah, right. Had, you, you're had right. No, uh, my last CD that I purchased was Death Magnetic by Metallica. Like, I know for certain. As soon as you said that, I know for certain that was the last one. And yeah. the CD before that was Reload. Oh, no, 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 no. The CD before that was uh, uh, St. Anger, and the CD uh, before that was Load, and the CD before that was Reload. It, so the last four I, CDs I bought were day of release, releases by Metallica. I think St. Anger was, was the last there one you know. that I bought. What about you, Jackie? Now what was your most recent CD? Now it's working. Mine was uh, the last one I purchased, surprisingly, and that's why I, I, I prompted me to ask you guys, was actually Tenacious D. Uh, they're oh. out there. And, and because I, like when just uh, Brian asked that question, I thought that was really funny that like we fell into the same genre mm. of right. like comedy or whatever. But yeah, no, so. I, I never, I always pirated Tenacious D. I didn't actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually I fell into that. Fair enough. <laughs> they're, they're fine with it. Like, I, I, you know, I and honestly, it. like I pirated, like I had to like buy a bunch of Mr. Show with Bob and David videos off of eBay and I bought uh, Heat, Vision, and Jack, which starred Jack Black, and uh, it was like a uh, Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson thing. Uh, I had to buy the fucking video off of eBay mm. and get it, uh, like, decades before you could get it off of the internet. So, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, right. Yeah, all right. So, fair enough. I, I will stop there. Um, I would have asked you to discuss why do people leave their kids in cars? Oh, and that's, uh, easy. that's because crazy. they're idiots. Because yeah, because they're, because fucking, they're fucking idiots. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. They, they're, and they're I had a couple lazy of these, pieces but, of yeah. shit. They mm -hmm. shouldn't have parent. Shouldn't have had kids in the first place. I always come prepared. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackie, if if people want to hear more about you or, you or want me. to ask you questions, you can find me right here, right now. Right, right here, right now. <laughs> dot com. Is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> right here, right now. dot com. Uh, look for Jackie Hearn. If you're listening to this in about a year, Jackie Hearn is still actually on the phone with us right now. Just go ahead and <laughs> <Yes>. call. <laughs> Always right and right forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I guess I've been doing the Twitch thing, and I got affiliate li recently. And uh, so you can come in, and you can, you, if you want to subscribe, you can. You don't have to, but you get. A nice little uh, puppet uh, icon emote that you can use um, nice. that it reflects a nice act. But it, yeah, just whatever, whatever, man. I'm I'm here now. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Right. If you want to follow me, I am rm underscore del noche on Twitter. Pretty much everywhere else on the internet, I am either del noche or del noche seventy seven. So just find me. What about you, Amos? I am. You, you know what I've realized this last week, dude. And and Jackie's saying, you know, saying, "Hey, come come over to the channel and maybe uh, subscribe if you want to." I have kind of let everything lapse. Like I was involved in some Diamond Club stuff behind the scenes, the Ritual Misery stuff. Like I've been so busy this last maybe month that I haven't done any of the normal stuff that I do 
in our community, and unfortunately, mm-hmm. that's not going to change until after probably middle of June is when I'll be able to start spinning back up in the community. So um, if you have something that I've missed and I, you, sh- you think I should be made a, uh, aware of it, uh, at Ethan Kane on Twitter is the simply the best way to get a hold of me for all things ever because I'm that kind of person. Um, of course, you can find the show at Ritual Misery, and you can go to RitualMisery.com for all of your support desires, your contact information, and everything else that you want to know about the show, including like uh, stuff that we probably should take down because it's old. But it's all there, <laughs> RitualMisery.com. Uh, and if you want to email us, please email us. People, email us. We want to make fun of you on the, on the, on the show. Because you're of your poor grammar. <laughs> or so, or we will read your email of you making fun of us. Either way works for <laughs> us. That, that's, that's <laughs> I mean, and don't forget your five-star shitty reviews on iTunes. Uh, so, yeah, podcast at ritualmisery.com will get us that information, and we will uh, we'll, we'll, we'll correspond from there. <laughs> hey, man, it's about time for me to hit this button right here. Uh, make sure this slider's up, which it is, and say thank you to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his music for this show. I and mean, you got nothing for it, huh? I'm, I'm giving you the floor way before the the music spikes up, and you're just yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know what to, to even say because um uh yeah. But th- thank you for listening. For Amos, for me, for you, this has been your Ricky Master. <laughs> Hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> the beautiful part about that was that I didn't have to cut you off. You cut yourself off by not giving yourself yeah, enough that's time. <laughs> how that works. Amazing. <laughs>